welcome to tech learners in today's lesson we will talk about another series program to display the series and print the sum till nth term the series today we will talk about is this 1 plus 11 plus 111 plus and so on in the previous lectures we had seen the sum of the series uh, in the first this one uh, the second 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 3 and in the third lecture we had talked about the series sum of this so in today's lecture we will talk about how to solve uh, the sum of this series and display the sum till nth term so uh, as we have already talked about in the previous lectures also we must find out the nth term of the series first so what will be the nth term of this series let's see in the first term we have 1 in the second term uh, we have uh, 11 how this 11 came if we will multiply 1 by 10 and we'll add 1 then we'll get 11 in the third term we have 111 let's see the relationship if we will multiply this 11 by 10 and we will add 1 then we will get 111 similarly the next term if you will multiply by 10 in 111 and we will add 1 then we will get 1111 so this is the relationship we have got from the previous terms so let's convert this relationship into the nth term so how we can get the nth term by multiplying the previous term of the series by 10 and then summing up 1 into the resultant so this will behave as the nth term <coughs> we can apply this formula for finding any term of the series let's try with the second term uh, what will be the previous term of this previous term is 1 so if we we'll multiply 1 by 10 then we'll have 10 and then we'll multiply sorry then we we'll add 1 into this 10 then we'll have 11 so i hope you have understood how we can achieve the next element of the series with the help of the previous terms now let's talk about the logic of this program uh, we need to input the number of elements in the series and uh, we need to create a variable term we need to initialize this with the zero then we'll run a loop of i from zero to n minus one why n minus one because we have initiated this from zero so automatically we are printing n terms from zero to n minus one these are n terms now inside the loop we need to calculate the term how we can calculate the term with the help of this nth term formula so you remember previous term into 10 plus 1 so here we are taking term into 10 plus 1 so what will happen let's say initially the term was 0 so this will be 0 into 10 that is 0 plus 1 this will be 1 so we have got our first term that is 1 then we will display this first term and then we'll have a sum variable and we'll sum into this term so this will be uh, the sum needed to be initialized with uh, 0 also so we we'll initialize this with 0 also so this is 0 plus 1 that is 1 now this loop will iterate the second time this evaluation just see this evaluation in the second time the term is 1 now so this will be 1 into 10 that is 10 plus 1 11 so now in this term we have 11 that is the second term of the series if you'll see this is second term of the series so we'll display the second term similarly we can sum up the second term into the previous sum so this will be 1 plus 11 that is kept into the sum variable so now this will keep moving on till n minus 1 and we'll have all the terms on board and after the loop it completes we simply display the sum of the series now uh, directly let's jump into the program and see uh, how we can code this simple logic into the program java program <clears throat> so this is a simple class series we will use the scanner class we will import the scanner class and we will create the object of the scanner class just to accept the input from the user 
so this is just for uh, message printing uh, just to print what type of series we are going to deal with then we'll uh, give the message to the user please enter the number of terms in the series we'll keep that into a variable n with the help of sc dot next int method if you are not aware about how we can take input using scanner class i have a separate video for a scanner class how to take input uh, from user using a scanner class you can watch that video we have uh, two variables term is zero and sum initialized with zero values and now we can use a loop you can use any loop either for loop while loop do while loop if you are not very well uh, known about these loop or not very comfortable with these loops you can watch my separate videos uh, for for while and do while loops so here we'll use this for loop and uh, initiated the looping variable with zero till less than n that is n minus one so right inside the loop uh, this was the nth term formula term into 10 plus 1 so we will be using this term so initially 0 into 10 was 0 plus 1 that is 1 so the first term will be 1 so we'll print this first term and we'll give some space plus so that uh, the printing will be in a good manner then we'll add this term into the sum variable and once we will complete this uh, loop uh, we'll have all the terms printed on the board and we'll have the sum of all the terms into the sum variable then we can print this sum of the series with sum so let's compile this and show you the output of this series so let me give the input please enter the number of the terms let me input five terms so you can see five terms first term is 1 second is 11 111 and so on and now the sum of the series is 1 2 3 4 5 so that's how we can uh, create the program to sum this series I hope you have understood uh, we will be talking about more such series programs in my upcoming videos so I hope you are liking my videos please hit the like button and if you have not subscribed the channel till now please subscribe the channel you can also press the bell icon so that you can get the notifications of upcoming video in my upcoming video i will be talking about more such series programs i will also be talking about constructor overloading and method overloading uh, i will be talking about uh, string handling in the java using string and string buffer classes so thank you for the day have a good day.